Well, a scientist from UC San Francisco received the Nobel Prize today for physiology or medicine. Yeah, Nobel laureate David Julius is being recognized for his research into how people sense cold, heat, and chemical irritants. As KTV's Bob Roth explains, many of Julius' discoveries came from items regularly found in local food stores. It's often said a telephone call at 2 in the morning seldom brings good news, but that's not true in the case of UC San Francisco scientist David Julius. That's when he and his wife learned he'd won the 2021 Nobel Prize in physiology or medicine. Yeah, it's quite a thing to be woken up at 2 a.m. I knew within about 15 minutes life was going to get pretty busy, so it's been a busy morning. Julius, a physiology professor at UCSF, is a co-winner along with Artem Paraputian, a molecular biologist at Scripps Research in La Jolla. Julius's work is focused on how our bodies sense heat and cold and how those sensations are transmitted to the brain. His discoveries have led to new insights about the fundamental nature of pain and new targets for treatment. Such as when you get a sunburn or when you have arthritic pain. Uh, and so understanding the molecules involved and the cell types involved gives us clues as to how we can target these pathways to develop drugs that can be used for very specific types of pain. Julius used key chemical compounds in chili peppers, horseradish, and wasabi to identify the protein in the human body that triggers that burning heat sensation. His identification and characterization of the nerve cell ion channel receptors, known as the TRIP receptors, led him down an intriguing scientific path Julius's research has helped develop non-opioid drug treatments for chronic pain. And there is a time when you make a discovery where you're the only person on the planet, or at least you think you're the only person on the planet, who knows the answer to a particular question. And that's a really thrilling moment. And um, I think that's what most of us live for. Rob Roth, KTVU, Fox 2 News.